everyone and welcome back to the Pirate 101 series. Today we are going with Monkey King. He has joined our team and we are going to try and start collecting the five turtle balls. Let's go ahead and get to the foggy path over here. Not gonna lie, it was kind of a difficult uh, maneuverment to get over here. Maneuverment. I can't see any way to get through. Hello. Just be no natural fog, Captain. It will turn us around. We will not be going through it. There used to be some monks who tended this place. Let's ask one of them. Monks always know things. Oh, well, here he is. If you come seeking knowledge, you are too late. The oh. Amber Horde has laid waste to this land, destroyed our temple. If you wish to sift through the rubble, speak to the leader of our order, Brother Shan Bi. He is with the town's survivors. Okay, can I turn up the volume a little bit? Because, like, okay, I guess not. Wow, because like his voice is very low. And I feel like I should leave a port right here. I'm not gonna lie, this area is kind of difficult because there's not a lot of paths and um, a lot of enemies, as you can see. I'm gonna try to be uh, very careful here. It is nice to see another person playing, though. Or roughly around the same area that I am. Always love to see that. Okay, let's see. Where do we go? Where do we go? Gihon B. Gihon. There's a character in the spirit realm of Mushu that's also got a very similar name. I think their name is Xion B, the, the blacksmith lady. I don't know. Maybe they're related. Maybe they are distant relatives. Uh, where do you want me to go? You told me to go that way, and now you're telling me to go this way. My goodness. Okay, let's see. This way? Where am I going? This is creepy looking right here with- Oh, spiders. Not spiders. No. Not spiders. Not the spiders. Hey, we got a shrine here. Oop. There's a couple monks here. What brings you to the Ashen Roads? Thanks to the Amber Horde, all that is left are broken dreams and shattered stones. Oh! Level 48! If you seek passage through the fog to the Temple of the North Wind, you must first prove that you are an honorable soul. The Amber Horde left the folk of the Ashen Roads homeless and without shelter. If they are to survive, they must find a refuge. There is an Imperial Garrison Tower near here. It could shelter the people, but we do not know what has become of it, and the roads are unsafe. Can you go to the Garrison Tower and see if there is any threat there? Before we run to it, we must know if the enemy are within. Okay, I'm assuming we're probably gonna have to defeat some people in here and clear it out. Always how it is with this game. Always how it is. Okay, let's see. Oh, can I cross here? Ooh. Ooh. It's the one thing about Mushu. The roads are a little bit slick. A little bit slick here. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Where's this place at? You want me to go this way? Oh, burn down. It's not good. Oh, there's ghosts. I didn't know there was ghosts over here. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Because it looks like a lot of ruin. Oh, dear. These guys are so close. I hate that they put these obstacles in the way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do you see how close this is? Oh, my God. It's so close. It's too close. <clears throat> okay. We're here. We're here. We're here. I hate when they put, like, obstructions and stuff in the path. I hate it. I hate it so much. We must leave this place. Tell Sean P. It is not safe here. And now you're going to make me walk all the way back. Okay. You see what I mean? This is the problem, I feel like, with Pirate, is that they don't have teleporters. <laughs> like, I feel like if they had some teleporters, especially in, like, Cool Ranch... Ooh. Cool Ranch Mushu, I think the experience would be a lot smoother. 
Because you really gotta be, like, you know, maneuvering smartly around here. Like, you see this? You see that? Obstructions everywhere in my path. Everywhere. Gotta be careful not to get on top of those ledges. Because there's stuff that blocks them. Like, the majority of this build- this video, not this building. Weird. This video is just maybe running around. <laughs> That's the thing about pirate. There is so much running. So much running. Oh my god. So much running. Shout out to the very nice pirate who gifted me this mount. Very, very sweet. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Because the running is insane. I know some people were really annoyed in videos where I wasn't using a mount, and I get it. If I was watching, like, a Wiz player not use a mount, I, I think I would also be a little annoying, so I feel you. Ghosts of the Samurai, this is terrible, but there may be a way to help the dead and the living. The god's imperial standard was taken by the Amber Horde. If you can get it back, they will find peace, and the tower will be safe. Go to the ruined village and attack Amber Horde oh. barbarians until you find the standard. Ah! Uh, once you have recovered it. Ah! Uh, don't tell me this is a drop quest. Attack until you find is never a word that you like to hear in these uh, King's Isle games, <laughs> ever. <laughs> okay, Amber Horde is. I'm assuming the guys over there. I can get around these stupid little spiders. Yeah, okay. These guys... I'm assuming they're Amber Horde, so I will see you guys when I get the drops. Okay, guys, we got the standards. Let's go ahead and talk to Xi'an Di. Ah, the standard. I will purify it, and then you must take it to the garrison tower and place it inside. Beware. The guards will resist you with all their strength. But if you fight with virtue, you will bring them honor and peace. Okay. I did take two battles, by the way. The first one, I did not get the drops. The second battle, I did. So, you know, you might have to do a couple battles. These guys are pretty strong, not gonna lie. So, you know, be a little bit wary, I would say. Let's see, we gotta go find the standard. Or we already got the standard. We gotta go place the standard, actually. Okay, uh, I heard somebody use a coin. Um, I would like to be able to get some of that health over there. Here we go. Give me that yum yum fruit. Ooh, we are so close right there. I don't like that, we are too close. Okay, um... Gosh, why does the quest helper arrow hate us? See that little turn it did? Let's go while there's no one right here. Gotta be quick. We gotta be swifty. See, it, it was pointing me backwards. I was like, did I go the wrong way? But I remember that little, like, weird house that juts out trying to get me killed. Okay, dungeon time. Dungeon time. Get in here. Let's see, I can actually, I think, level up my characters a bit. What is it? Which I feel like I probably yeah. should do for Bonnie. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Get her some stuff real quick. Let's me level them up real quick. Okay, they're not gonna speak, yes, so okay, Captain. good. <laughs> yes, Captain. Level up yes. my peeps. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna yes, level up Fan Captain. to 46. There we go. Okay, let's get it. There's only three? Only three? Four, okay, that's fine. I got my pet in here too, even though he doesn't do that much. Let's go ahead and... Ooh. Let's try to gamble and put that right there. Do a couple of our skills and move Bonnie up a little bit. That might be helpful. It's been a while since I played Pirate, actually. I've gotten really into Wiz again now that we've been uh, in Winter Tusk because I love Grizzleheim, so uh, apologies on this side. I will be getting back here pretty soon. Hmm. Getting back into the pirate, I do really want to get pirate finished by this year. 
So we might need to be grinding this game a little bit because I would like to finish it you know, within at least a year. I don't think a walkthrough for pirate really should take a year if you're doing a video every single day like I do. <laughs> I don't think it should really take a year, so yeah. <laughs> We might just start having to add, like, pirate days into the schedule or something, because I really do want to get this one, you know, kind of, kind of situated, because it's been, it's been quite a while. You know, it's been quite a while. We'll do. See if I can get this I'm guy out of here. Uh, I think I clicked the wrong thing. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead and use our ults here, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, Wiz obviously is gonna take a lot longer. A lot longer, because there's so many worlds and they're still adding worlds on like this game. They're adding worlds to Wiz. So yeah, that's kind of kind of a a point. I will be honestly, I will be making more walkthroughs for Wiz and Pirate. I'll be doing a second walkthrough eventually. Um, if you have not heard the news, by the way, um, I am planning to kind of turn this channel into like a VTuber channel because I am working on getting a model done. So, um, hopefully the next series will be me as a VTuber doing the Pirate and the Wiz walkthroughs, so that'd be fun. The Wiz walkthrough is probably going to be, uh, part face, part VTuber. So, uh, that's exciting. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool. Oh, I did get him. I gambled correctly. I love it when I gamble nicely. <laughs> so these guys can be pretty difficult. They've got quite a bit of health. And my pets hitting numbers? Wow. That's a first. <laughs> That's a first. I need to train my pet. It's been a while. Let's... I can't really do a good one of those, so let's just try to focus on getting this guy out of here. Just all attack him. Also, I am really excited to do another, like, proper walkthrough for Pirate because I genuinely... I feel like I understand the game much better. Oh god, my my frog, my frog! Please get him, my frog, my frog, my frog. Anyway, <laughs> I feel like I understand the game so much better because, like, especially with this swashbuckler uh, walkthrough, it's been very difficult for me because I just I've never played this game properly before. Like, the most I ever played of this game was when it first came out, and I was curious, and I got to like I think Blood Souls is like the cutoff for like. You know, the freebie stuff, and that's where you gotta get the membership. So I played all the way up to, like, practically Blood Souls. And, um, yeah, I just remember really just having a hard time understanding what to do in this game. And I think I, I think I understand it better now through, like, reading comments of you guys. Which, by the way, thank you if you have ever left me a comment telling me, like, hey, uh, try this instead of this. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna use this to try to get him. I'm a heal fan. But yeah, I really appreciate that, because I, I don't know how to <laughs> really play this game too well, because I've never played it before. Like, with Wiz, I know everything to know about Wiz. Like, I've played many a character in my day. I've watched many a guides, many a walkthroughs. <laughs> I love Wiz, but yeah. I, I definitely know how to play from, like, comments and also just from, like, general experience playing the game. Like, I know so much more than I used to, well and so that really helps I'm me as well. well do. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to do another one of these. I love these. I love pirate. I love pirate. It's just, it would make me so, so sad, though, because I won't have my frog, and I've grown really attached to my frog. <laughs> I really love Fan, and not having her in my group is going to be a little bit sad for another character, because I really do love her. Don't you dare try to kill my frog. I'm going to move her back so he can't hurt her, because that's my frog. Frog over here. Will do. My frog away from this lunatic. Get over here, baby girl. I got you. I ain't gonna let you die today. Not today. Maybe another day, but not today. Okay. The English standard. Then these ghosts will know peace. Oh. We have made a safe haven for the weak. Sean B will be pleased. Okay, okay, nice. The chest. <gasps> I found a chest, a secret chest I found, and I got 200 gold. Pretty cool. Not gonna lie, it's pretty cool for me. Okay, well, we cleared out some ghosts. Pretty nice. 
love to see it. I don't think there's much more left of Mushu. So, um, I am really excited to get to Aquila. I, I believe that is like after Marleybone, which comes next. But I just, I'm so excited to get to Aquila because I've never seen Aquila. Like, if you guys haven't seen, I recently did a tier list ranking the worlds of pirates. And I, the only world I couldn't properly rank was Aquila. Just because I have not seen that world, I don't remember anything of that world. Like, I watched Blaze Lifehammer's Witch Doctor, um, uh, series, like, a very long time ago, like, when it was first coming out. And I just don't remember Aquila from it. I don't remember if that's because, like, I just, like, didn't really like Aquila or whatnot. Why did people keep trying to, like, friend request? Sorry. But, <laughs> I'm sorry. Only people who come to my streams get the friend request but, yeah, anyway, like, I don't know if it's because I just didn't like Aquila, or if, like, you know, I just didn't remember it, because I know I watched the full walkthrough, though. So. I know I watched the full walkthrough. <laughs> but, yeah, my days were good. The good old days of the walkthrough series were great. I, I reminisce a lot about those days. You have done my people a great service. I will send word that the garrison tower is a sanctuary to the people. Throughout the Ashen Roads are three objects sacred to our order. An urn, a gong, and a statue. Find and return them. You may be forced to resort to violence oh. to recover these items. We refuse to do so, which is why we have not recovered them. I'm all about the violence. If you can bring those objects back to this place, okay, I will what? lay upon you a blessing that will let you pass through the magic fog. I would left a mark at that fog, but I think it's probably best to leave a mark here. Just because I didn't know we were going to have to come back here as much as we did. And like, the spiders kind of creeping me out, not going to lie. Okay, we got to collect sacred statue. That's a statue. I don't think I can carry that. I don't think it's that one. Uh, this way. Oh, am I going to have to fight for the statues? I will. I'm sure- oh yeah, 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 yeah. Always gotta fight for the statue. Okay, well anyway, let's get on in here. Whoop some butt. As always, we gotta whoop some butt. Whoop some butt. Let's go! Let's go! Okay. Can I- Oh, I was so close. No. Oh, oh, I was so close. Okay, well, anyway, I'll see you guys when I defeat these guys. Okay, we defeated them, so let's collect this statue. Okay, there we go. We got one of the items, so I will see you guys next when we get the gong. Okay, let's get this gong now. Okay, I'll see you guys when we get the urn. Okay, and finally, the urn. Get this over here. Okay, let's go back now that we have everything. There's like three huts of people you have to defeat, so be prepared. You have returned the most yeah. sacred objects taken from our temple. We despise vengeance, but you have shown honor in your soul. Good thing he don't know us <laughs> that well, eh, Captain? Hey, speak for yourself. Your service to our temple is appreciated. I now lay upon you a blessing that will allow you to pass through the magic fog. The Temple of the North Wind was beset by the Amber Horde, protected only by a lone champion, the one called Pigsy. The fog rose over their battle, and we have heard nothing from him since. There is no telling what you will find on the other side. Pigsy? I'm sure he's got them all sorted out. No worries. From here on out, it's all turtle balls. Okay, turtle balls. Anyway, I think I am going to leave this episode here so that next time we can go into the magical fog. But anyway, if you enjoyed today's episode and you want to see more, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!